I'm Laura McKendry. I'm an artist living and working in London. My work mostly focuses on the natural world. Plants, birds, animals, the changing seasons, coastlines, woodlands, seasonal produce. I love living in London. I love the bustle and thrill of living in the capital city. Amongst the fast pace and urban sprawl though, it, it's always possible to find little corners of wildlife. When people cling on to these, they seek them out. Whether it's allotments, community orchards, city parks, a canal side or rooftop terraces, we need nature to keep us sane. It's good for the soul. And it affects us deeply, I think. The changing seasons structure our year, the weather affects how we feel. These things ground us. I mostly work in watercolour, but I'll throw in anything that's to hand or feels right. Squashed berries, coloured pencil, emulsion paint, a bit of chalk or tea bags. I've drawn with sticks or paintbrush handles, toothbrushes or my fingers. Printing with bubble wrap makes a really good honeycomb pattern or a cluster of frog spawn. I always spend a while looking closely at what I'm going to draw, but once I start making marks, I tend to work quite quickly. I love the energy of making marks on a page and then pausing to consider, and then a few more marks. I love the process of drawing because it forces you to look properly at something, to slow down and pause. It ends up being something I get lost in. I guess we're all becoming more conscious of the impact we're inadvertently having on the environment. We get it that we need to look after the natural world. I recently did a series of illustrations for a charity called the Felix Project, who reduce food waste by redistributing unwanted but perfectly edible food. You find collections of people doing really great things. I feel humbled by the natural world. If you slow down and properly look, it's actually staggering. It blows you away. In it, you can see all sorts of patterns, irregular geometry, and even architecture. From walking in the woods, or beach combing, to looking more closely at a plum we might be about to eat, the aesthetics of the natural world are worth making time for.